Mac. I'm really happy to see you again. Oh, I see. We have some new friends. I'm always looking forward to meeting new friends. Welcome to the show. Hmm. What day is today? Is it Monday? Is it Tuesday or Wednesday? Oh, I've forgotten what day it is, but I'm sure I'll remember it soon enough, as we shall be learning about the days of the week. Here's what's in store for you today. We're going to talk about the days of the week. Mr. Hans is going to teach us something new. I know you love my friend, the word machine. We're going to learn how to use words to help us know whether a person is a male or female. There's another interesting story for you today, and then I've got a brand new song for you. Hmm. I wonder what day it is. What? Day is it? Hmm. Welcome back. Let's meet our friends again. I'm so glad you're still with me. Do you still remember our friends here? Friends, can anyone tell me what day it is today? Mac, today is Tuesday. Yes, Mac. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. Oh yes! Now I remember. It's Tuesday. I'm so sorry, friends. I've been a bit ill lately because of the 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 the, 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 the rain. Well, I'll see the doctor tomorrow. Tomorrow is Wednesday. Did you know that there are seven days in a week? Seven days. Now let's take a look at last week. Can you tell me what you did last week? I played netball on Monday. I went swimming on Wednesday. I helped to wash my father's car on Thursday. I went to the mosque on Friday. Friends, can you tell me the days of the week again? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> now, who can tell me how many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. Very good. Now, what day comes after Sunday? Monday comes after Sunday. That's right. Great. That's correct. What day comes before Friday? Thursday comes before Friday. What day of the week starts with the letter M? Monday. Right again. Well, I hope you can remember the names of the days of the week. Anyway, what is your favorite day of the week, and why do you like it? Tell your friends about it. So this is a job for Spellman. Wednesday. Wednesday. Seven, seven.
Hello, I'm Mr. Hans. So glad you could join me again. I'm going to teach you how to make a paper frog. Well, the only thing we need today is just a piece of paper. First, we fold the paper on one edge like this. Then, press the folded part to get a fold mark. Next, we fold it from the other side like this and press the folded part again. Now, unfold the paper and we get two folded marks crossing each other like this. Hmm, watch carefully and see how we use the folded marks to do our next fold like this. Now we have two triangular flaps on each side like this. Next, we are going to fold the right flap to let the tip meet at the top. And then, fold the other flap also to let the tips meet at the top like this. Hmm, so this is how our folds look like. Next, we are going to fold both sides of the bottom part like this and like this. Now, we are going to fold the bottom part up to let the edges meet like this. And then fold it down again like this. Finally, we make two small folds on both tips like this. Stretch the folded parts a bit. These are going to be the front legs, and this will become the hind legs. Let's turn it the other way around. And now, our frog is ready to leap. Hey, wait! I've got some froggies to show you. So have fun. Bye. There are many types of clothes. Here are some of them. Shirt. Trousers Dress Blouse Skirt Well, now that you've learned the names of some clothes, can you name other types of clothing? Happy trying! We use different words to 
identify the gender of a person. A boy, a girl, a man, or a woman. Let's take a look at this family. This is Nazim. This is Inche Azman. Inche Azman is Nazim's father. Nazim is Inche Azman's son. This is Puan Norzila. Puan Norzila is Nazim's mother. Nazim is Puan Norzila's son. This is Nabila. She is Nazim's sister. Nazim is Nabila's brother. Nabila is Puan Norzila's daughter. Puan Norzila is Nabila's mother. Nazim and Nabila are the children of Inche Azman and Puan Norzila. Nazim is their son and Nabila is their daughter. So remember these words that tell us whether a person is male or female. Father, son, mother, daughter, brother, sister. Four. 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 again and today I have a very interesting story for you. I'm sure you're going to like it. It's called The Rabbit and the Tortoise. Just watch and listen. The Rabbit and the Tortoise Robbie the Rabbit loved to boast. I'm the fastest animal here, he said. No one can run faster than me. He laughed at the horse because he was too old to run anymore. He teased the cow because she was too fat to walk. He even made fun of the cat and the dog because they were slower than him. One day, as he was hopping along the road, he passed by Tanya the tortoise. <laughs> You must be the slowest animal in the world, he laughed. It will take you a month to walk from here to the end of the road, he added. Don't be too sure, Mr. Rabbit, said Tanya. Why don't we have a race to see who is the fastest? <laughs> Robbie <laughs> fell down laughing. He laughed and he laughed. You, you want to race against me? <laughs> Robbie agreed, and they met at seven the next morning. Johnny the cockerel was chosen as the starter. Many animals turned up to watch the race. Johnny crowed, and the race began. Before Tanya could take her first step, Robbie sped off like a bullet, laughing loudly as he went. Tanya moved as quickly as she could but was left far behind. After a while, Robbie stopped. He looked behind him. He could not see Tanya. Ha ha ha! She must still be at the starting line, he said. Ah, I think I'll just sit under this tree and rest for a while. After an hour, Tanya the tortoise passed by the tree. She saw Robbie fast asleep. She smiled and continued walking. She walked and she walked. Soon, she was at the finishing line. All the animals cheered her on. Robbie heard their voices and woke up suddenly. He was shocked. Tanya was about to cross the finishing line. 
He rushed as quickly as he could, but he was too late. The race was over. Tanya had won. All the other animals laughed at Robbie. He was ashamed that he had lost the race to the slowest of all the animals, the tortoise. Ever since that day, Robbie stopped boasting and making fun of others. If we keep on trying and never give up, we will succeed in the end. That's what the story is all about. Do you know what happens when we join words together? We will get new words. They're called compound words. Let's see how this is done. Okay. Ground. Playground. Playground. Bed. Room. Bedroom. Bedroom. Police. Man. Policeman. Policeman. something for everyone on Max World. I'll be back soon. Bye!